Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. I'm excited to share with you some heat foiling ideas. I have my latest glimmer kit of the month from Spellbinders. It's the Love Enclosed plate and die set and on the back there are some ideas if you get some of the other kits but I only subscribe to the glimmer kit just to help beef up my <laughs> plate collection and I also received a pack of this red glimmer foil but I'm going to mix it up and use rose gold and aura um, foils so I am going to get out some I would say slightly non-traditional valentine's day color so I want to use this rose gold and this kind of mint colored cardstock and then I also thought it'd be fun to do some aura with that floral pattern so I cut out a bunch of rectangles that will fit my hearts as you can see here I'm going to use my little spellbinders trimmer with the foil knife blade we'll go with blade <laughs> and I am going to open up this pack of rose gold and I'm going to trim these down to fit onto the hearts and I'm going to do eight cards total four of each heart so for the you had me at hello I'm going to use the rose gold because I want to make sure the card receiver can definitely read that sentiment so I'm lining it up to about three inches on my mat and then using the guide and the blade to trim that I will then cut it in half and for that you could just kind of bend it in half and use your scissors but I already have my blade so I'm just going to lay it on there about halfway and cut it in half. So there you can see it will layer plate pretty side down, foil pretty side up, and then your paper. So I'm going to repeat the same process with this very beautiful aura foil. Again trimming it at about three inches flipping it around and then cutting it in half and it will be the same size as that rose gold and you will see how it will layer nicely again. So again your layer is from the other way paper foiled pretty side up plate pretty side down because you want that imprint to press onto your paper the foil. So I'm just going to use a little bit of repositional tape just to keep those in place since I trim my foil to fit quite perfectly underneath those hearts. And here's when I realized I should have been warming up my foil press this whole entire time. So I'm bringing it over, flipping on the switch. I prefer to do my foil plates from Spellbinders at medium at about 30 to 35 seconds. I'm going to be doing lots of foiling at one time, so we're going to go with 35 seconds. I also brought out a couple of the sentiments. I really liked the with all my heart and happy Valentine's Day. And since those are going to be a sentiment, I was going to use rose gold on my mint green paper so I could make sure that they were very easy to read. I, I'm a little worried about the aura being too hard to read on a lighter cardstock. So again, using some repositional tape to keep those plates in place, and then I'm going to bring out my little silicone mat so that way when I pull everything off and my little finger guards in my tweezers, I have a magnet. And uh, when the light finally turns green, if you saw it in the upper right hand corner, I can start placing my plates. So now I'm going to flip these over so the plate is against the heating mechanism, the foil press. So layering all of these down, using my magnet just to help pick them up. And once I have all of them on, I will hit the go, put the plate on top, and I'll fast forward here to when it's about done and it will beep at me and I will run it through my Gemini. So grabbing my little finger guards just to make sure I don't burn myself, I'm running it through my Gemini Junior and then I'm pulling it out. So let's take a look at how these turned out. I'm going to peel them all off and put it on my little silicon mat so they don't burn anything or overheat my plastic mat. And let's pull off the first one. You had me at hello. Turned out so beautiful. I love the rose gold against the mint. And my sentiments with all my heart and happy Valentine's Day turned out nice. However, my aura didn't really press down enough. So I'm going to have to add a shim for those. So I'm going to just set that aside and try it again after I finish all of my sentiments and my you had me at hello. So I raised the timer to 40 seconds because I wasn't sure if maybe it just wasn't warm enough. So this would give it more time to heat up. 
and I'm also going to add a stack of extra papers as I run it through my Gemini Junior just to add a little bit more pressure like like a shim and when I pull everything off you'll see in just a moment here that it looks much better and I'm very happy with the results so I'm going to go ahead and continue foiling the rest of these little floral hearts with this added shim and a little longer on my foil press. There was a little over foiling but that's not a problem because I'm going to be using the heart die cut from the set and trim it off and you won't even know that I over foiled anything. So now it's time to work on that die cutting. I have my heart around my floral heart image here, just using some more repositional tape to keep that in place since I really wanna make sure that's nice and centered around my heart. For the sentiments, I'm going to get out last year's Valentine's glitter kit of the month, which is the Calligraphy Hearts foil kit. And there is a die that cuts a nice rectangle, which is perfect for the sentiments. As you can see here, the sentiments are very similar in size to this month's kit. So I thought, why not use the die? And it fit perfectly. So I'm going to grab some more repositional tape and I'm going to center that sentiment inside the die. Now when I'm applying my repositional tape, I'm being very careful not to overlap anywhere where there's foil because that tape will rip up some of the foil and it will destroy all that beautiful work you just did. I'm also peeling off some of the leaves and flower dyes from the set and I'm getting out some cardstock. I really like this kind of darker minty teal that I think will complement the lighter mint. And then I found this kind of peachy, guava-y looking pink cardstock that I thought matched well with the rose gold. So I did a bunch of die cutting. So here you can see my sentiments, my hearts, my leaves, my flowers are in white. And then I'm going to use that pink paper as a background. And I went ahead and, and embossed it with the plaid company embossing folder also from Spellbinders. Here's a look at what the layout is going to be. So I have a heart and then I'm going to place a sentiment under it. I thought about overlapping the sentiment a bit for the floral um, foil press image but I'm going to create kind of a little wreath on the bottom of the heart. So I decided to just use the sentiment below the heart for all of the card designs. So I'm going to put together one of the card designs because they're all very similar even though the only four of them have the foiled floral heart and the other four have the sentiment but it's the same layout. So I went ahead and added some foam adhesive behind my heart and I'm applying that to the top center of my plaid embossed background. I'm going to also pop up my sentiment and I was using Happy Valentine's Day but I will switch it out later and use with all my heart since the other sentiment heart says you had me at hello I thought it went better with the Valentine's Day strips so I will peel this off later off camera but I'm adding that sentiment strip below the heart. Now I'm going to layer on my leaves. I did trim off the little part of the stem which I believe is intended to go below the larger flower die cut but I wanted it to look kind of like a wreath in a sense like a little crown of um, leaves and flowers so I just trimmed that off so it looked more like a stem of leaves and I added wet glue behind it and I added it everywhere because I wasn't sure how I was going to lay it down yet but I really only needed glue on the stem and the leaves that overlap the heart. I'm going to repeat the same thing with the other stem so trimming off that excess at the top of my leaf stem and then I'm going to add wet glue to the stem and leaves that overlap the heart. So the die cut leaves are actually in the same direction. The bottom of the die are both at the bottom of the heart, but I angled them into different ways and they kind of look like two different die cuts, which is kind of cool. A way to really stretch that die. Now I'm going to start adding in the flowers. So I have this large flower that I'm putting on the top of the left stem. And then I'm going to add the little flowers just kind of randomly throughout the rest of the little crown of leaves. So just using my wet glue, placing it where I think it would look nice, and then gluing that flower down. 
So once I have all four of those flowers, I'm going to grab some scrap paper and then I'm going to grab the centers of all those flowers. So there's a large one for the large flower and three small circles for the three small flowers. And I'm just using a yellow marker to color those in. I didn't really want to die cut everything twice. So just coloring the centers just saved a little bit of time when it came to die cutting. Again, using wet glue to add these down, and I'm going to use my jewel picker to pick them up and adhere them to the card. So all four of our flowers now are white with yellow centers, and I think they complement the rest of the colors of these card layouts very nicely. So now that that's done, I have a top folding A2 card size or card base. It's an A2 size and it's top folding, which is my favorite because I think it stands a lot nicer up when it's a top folding card. I added some foam strips behind my embossed pink paper and then I am adhering that to the center of my card base. So I'm going to clean up a little bit here and grab some rhinestones. These are from Trinity Stamps and they're iridescent and they're beautiful. And I'm going to add three around the heart. So I have some a mix of large and small ones. So just picking them out randomly and placing them around the heart. Using my jewel picker again, picking them up with my wet glue and adhering them down. So that's going to be the layout for all eight cards. Here is a look at my floral Valentine's Day card, which will eventually say with all my heart, like you can see here. So there is one design. And then at the other design, you had me at hello. I did tuck a lot more of the leaves under the heart because I wanted to make sure that sentiment was viewable by the card receiver. So here are all eight cards, just a close up at two of the designs. I think they turned out really sweet and I hope it inspires you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!